Hi, I am a high school social studies teacher turned um, product creator at Teachers Discovery, turned director of social studies at Teachers Discovery, which is an educational publishing company. Um, then I wanted to get back into public education. And so I am now at Detroit Public Schools Community District, and I am a project manager supporting specifically curriculum and instruction. So I get to talk to teachers every day. First of all, I'll say, you know, I'm a noob to Foxit. And I think if I am just full disclosure, if I would have been using Foxit, the functionality is a lot friendlier um, from what I've seen in the limited times I've interacted with Foxit than what I'm used to with um, Adobe Acrobat DC is what I use. So I'm not sure, you know, what everybody else uses, but I just, I got feedback from a lot of teachers um, that were in similar situations to me where we suddenly had to make a big shift from, I was one of those people you were joking about, Chuck, that was like, oh, who makes copies? I printed every single thing that my kiddos did in 10th grade civics and economics, 11th grade world history and 9th grade US history. And, and everything went home um, and may or may not have come back. And so this was a big shift, but I had a lot of feedback from teachers that were saying, you know, you know, they really are trying to cut the paper trail and adapt uh, as necessary with the pandemic and with everything else that we've all been through. Um, and so this was just a cool way to take the same handouts and the same things that they love or that kiddos are familiar with and make it really accessible no matter what platform or, you know, even if it's through email. Um, or pulling it up like Caleb said on a phone, that, that kids, no matter what, would be guaranteed to like access every assignment and interact with every assignment and in a unique way.